It's like when somebody asks me, well, how many bugs do you feed a baby? Well, it depends on the baby. It depends what size is the baby, what size is the bugs. That's why making a care sheet for a bearded dragon is so difficult. People don't understand that. I'm like, it's not like this equals this. That's not how this works. So, you know, how, how big is the dragon? Is the dragon going through a gross birth? Is it not going through a, a gross birth? You know, what are your, what temps are you running? You know, is it, um, you know, are your bugs half inch or are they five eighths inch? You know, like, I mean, all of these different things make a huge difference. And so, you know, new keepers are oftentimes, you know, my, my pet keepers um, are oftentimes like, well, I don't know when to stop. Like, I don't want to, um, I don't want to feed too much, but I don't want to feed too little. So I always tell them, I'm like, look, <clears throat> look at it this way. Think of yourself. And this works well for the general public that, you know, that has a pet. So I always tell them, I'm like, look at it this way. Okay. When you sit down for Thanksgiving for a big meal, okay. And you're eating and you're enjoying your meal. There's a point in which you start to slow down where you're just kind of like, oh, the belt's feeling a little tight. I need, you know, I'm breathing a little deeper. Like I really kind of like, I need to stop, but it's really good. I want to eat it. I want the ice cream and the cake afterwards, this, that, and the other. I said, that's what you kind of have to look at your animal and say, where are they at in this process? Is the animal, is it like still running like really fast and target feeding and going after it? Or is it still targeting, but it's slowing down a bit. It's, you know, taking that extra breath to kind of like loosen its belt. You know, where is it at in that process? Um, and so that clicks for a lot of pet keepers and they go, oh, okay. Like I get it. It's not like that blanket, you know, the old school blanket of, you know, as much feeders as they can eat within 15 minutes, because obviously they're opportunistic eaters and they'll, some of them, not all of them, but some of them will just keep going um, and, and literally stuff themselves. So you know, I'm just like, you know, look for them to, to just, you, you can see signs in them that they actually are getting full. Don't let them hit that point, you know, stop. Um, so, yeah. That's actually, that's brilliant. I, I've struggled with that question so much because I don't know how to answer. I just, I like, oh no, I stop when I feel that it's right. Like, so one customer's like, how many bugs do I feed? And I'm like, mm. Uh, right and it's like are you feeding are you are you feeding a super worm are you feeding a mealworm are you feeding a black soldier how big is it are you feeding crickets are you feeding roaches like i mean there's all these different so i'm like look let's just simplify this like let's just break this down like when you're eating this is the process you go through and they're like oh and it makes it a lot simpler for you know the general keeper the parents with the kids and this that and the other and it just it's it's cut a lot of the you know, a lot of the, I don't know what to do. 